Welcome back. It's still Plus Politics, and we are discussing the upcoming Ongo governor governorship election. And to listen to the other side, we have Honorable Otito Atikashi, who is a former member of Ondo State House of Assembly, and it's obviously an APC chieftain. To discuss with us online, we have him to react to some of the issues. Yes, uh, we had both of you two days ago, and uh, by request, we want to have you differently since uh, it appears that two of you were not able to listen to each other. So let's bring up some of the issues. And the question first is, why should Ondo people vote for Arakuri uh, uh, Akiri Dulu for the second time? Yeah, thank you. Uh, on those state people are very reliable and reasonable people. And they know the leader that is sincere with them. They know leaders that speak from both sides of their mouth. So, as far as the forthcoming election is concerned, Aketi has no problem. APC will call home to victory based on certain fundamental issues or factors. When Aketi came on board, he made 220 billion naira debt incurred by the last PDP administration. The last PDP administration was owing workers several months' salary. Today, Mr. Governor Araku Ularutinake Dolu Oduayo, SAN, has cleared all the salary areas. Are you saying that on those state people who want to bring in, bring in on board the same party that old worker, seven more salary? Never. It will never repeat itself. Because on those states, it's a civil service state. Our civil servants suffer in the hands of these politicians that want to come back to the back door. On those state people will reject them. As we speak today, as a result of indebtedness, in the last PDP government emerged this state in. Every month, they remove 700 million naira from our location. That is what we pay to offset the debt they owe. So, when. Hello? I'm with you. I can hear you. Yeah, when. They were in power. The allocation from Abuja was about 10 billion naira. Today, the allocation from Abuja is around 4 billion naira, which is not even enough to pay salary. In spite of this, Mr. Government pays salary every month. Unlike before, when the money was big, when the money was uh, exorbitant, they were owing workers. When the money got reduced, we are not owing workers. So the difference is clear. And the people of Ondo State okay. will decide on the 10th of October. Okay, Mr. Uh, Honorable Tito, let's, let, let's quickly also look at other issues. You know, there was a complaint by both that uh, we didn't have enough time. So let's look at some of the things said by uh, Mr. Benson. He did say that Ondo State seems to have just been overlaced, using his word, that it's just a war, local government that, was, that really enjoyed this administration. What proof do you have in terms of infrastructure you have said about salaries. What about infrastructure? But if I look at me, it's being mischievous. How do you it's mean? Only, it's only trying to paint the government in a bad light. Just because he never got the appointment he wanted from the government. You mean this current see, government? Let me tell you. The bridge, the, the, this government built in Ore. Are you telling me that if you put all the money together in a war, will it be up to that bridge? So, 
And if a man has no points, it is, it is devoid of logic that every project is in a war. Today, we are having the industrial hub in Ore, where we have about five or six companies. We have textile companies there where they make clothes. We have a company where they, they, where they make threads. There's a company we had, we have a company there where we have, where they produce plywood. Today we have a uh, assemblage of articulated vehicles. Ethanol production is taking place in Ore. This has, you know, engendered a kind of situation where employment is safe or not. Today, over 1,500 or close to 2,000 people have employed in that linear industrial hall. It has never happened in the history of Ondo State. And you came when it was part of eight years, in glorious eight years of the government. Let him tell us one single industry put in place by his government. Because Akechi is so ready to share the state money with them. They think that they can gang up, engage the interests of the people. On the on the tenth of October, we will know who is the friend of the masses, okay. who is the friend of the holy for law, who is the friend of an ordinary person on the street. Because the best way to distribute resources is through infrastructure. This Mr. Governor has distributed across on the state. Let me tell you, there's a place in Africa called Gaga. Gaga has been forgotten before now. But Mr. Governor, you know, remember them in his government. There was no road at all. And today, Gaga people are enjoying the Google okay. do network. Uh, honorable, so, Tito. Yeah. Um, honorable Tito, let's also look at uh, some other factors we talked about. And that has to do with uh, the just concluded election in a do state. And I recall yeah. that four years ago, like Edo, like Undo, we had Obaseki coming in from Edo on the platform of APC, and we had Akeridolu coming in. And it was more like, according to analysts, they believe that this is more of, um, you know, taking a ride about what happened. Do you think this will cost your party a reason to have a, you know, to re-strategize? The issue of Edo has nothing to do with Ondo State. Explain. Because the popularity of Ondo State is different from Edo. In Edo, they may not consider zone arrangement. In Ondo State, zone arrangement is like a constitution to us. Hmm. Today, Mimiko just spent eight years from the central, where the government comes from, the candidate of the PDP. And the, 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 the power moves to the north. So the idea is that all those people to bring the, past, the power back to the center, impossible. An individual, this is the first time an individual will spend eight years on those states. What is up for the good, is also for the Uganda. Okay, Honorable Teacher, correct me. There are other calculations, so probably different from the way you are calculating. Some are counting the four years of Agagu or whatever no, years No, 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 no. Let me from, correct that impression. It's from Undo North. I will wait for you to explain to me, but let me make the point. Now, yeah. that as far as Akari Dulu is concerned, he has completed that four years. I agree with you that if you look at that, then it shouldn't be Itai or Jagede. But if you look at it from the angle of Undo North is just completing it, not an individual, but the zone. What we are saying is this. Hello? I'm with you. Akechi is not going, is not going to complete uh, Agagul's uh, uh, four years. Because both of them are not from the same, 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 same central district. Okay. Let me explain to you. Before now, individuals have been spending four years. But a new trend has come into Ondo State. Where an individual spent eight years. And that individual is Governor Mimiko from the Centre, where they get their heads from. What we are saying is that since Centre has spent eight years through Mimiko, and the power is in the north now, 
the Akechi has spent four years. Let Akechi spend his own four years more, making eight years from the north. An individual now spent eight years from the north. Since an individual has spent eight years from the central. So that by the time you come to the south, the south will now have the ample opportunity to spend his own eight years. That is about that. But our, 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 our issue here is not even about Zoni. But Zoni is also part of it. The most critical element of our strength is the performance of Mr. Governor in the area of road network, in the area of uh, industrialization, in the area of employment. Let me tell you, in, 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 PDP, in PDP government, in the last PDP government of in those states, they, they retrenched 12,000 workers from the local government. That will not happen in those states. We will never allow them back because they are coming to destroy the legacy of Acheti. They are coming to destroy the interests of our people. They are thinking about themselves alone. They are not thinking about the masses. They are not thinking about the high poloi. And that is our contention here. Okay. Before now, the FCC used to be our visitor in London states. They squandered the super tax money. They, they, they spoil it. Okay. Let me tell you, under the PDP, a, a, a road in Lagia was awarded to the tune of 19 billion. A road from uh, Ugola to Oroye. And you could may Benson, who just appeared on your, on your program, was the NDDC commissioner representing on those states, on the board of NDDC. So, he was, he was in charge. He was the one that, that and, and PDP element that were in charge. And at the end of the day, the money went down the drain. As any family, where is he going? Okay, alone? maybe we will we'll have the opportunity of bringing both of you face to face since yes. that might be the best way to have some of these issues clear. But you want, you want to give me clothes? We will not, we will not put on tattered clothes. Okay, let's let's look at this another issue that is very critical, and that has to do with um, what people believe that it's something APC should be careful about. The acrimony, the, the animosity that greeted the build up to the primaries in your party. Is the issue rested as we speak, or there is still some skirmishes of infighting in your party? Yes, as like like I like I told you before now. The the scenario that played out in Edo will not play out in Ondo. Because in Edo, the internal ranglings were not settled. The doors of crisis didn't settle before that election. And that was what gave victory to PDP. It was an undeserved victory anyway. They're coming to Ondo State. This is the first time in the history of Ondo State politics where the incumbent governor will go into family with his contemporaries. And at the end of the day, all of them will now come back to come and work with him. Before now, in 2016, Olusha okay, after the primary, went, he left uh, the party and, and went to AD. Abraham was in court against Acheti. Yet he won, in spite of those distractions. But today, Olusha Laoke, Keke Meke, Ife Iji, Ife Abraham, Eborofe, who is who in APC are all supporting Akechi 100%. The kind of support Akechi is having on those states is overwhelming. And mm -hmm. let me tell you, let me tell you, there have never seen an election that is so predictable like this one <laughs> since I've been playing politics. <laughs> this this is, election is so predictable this, that this, on those states people are determined I, to I would love to, uh, Akechi I hope, back to I hope to coach you on uh, October 11 and on October 12, because no um, I want to believe that uh, your prophecy will be put to test. But let's also look at another factor uh, which you you alluded to. And uh, according to Ms., uh, Mr. Benson, Yanikome, he did say that Agbola and uh, Aketi are both of the same. Now, this man has decided to go to another party. 
Don't you think there's a leakage, sort of? There is no any leakage at all. Because Agbola himself was a liability on us. His uh, exit is a plot to us. But he's still advantage. the deputy governor. Yeah, because the person, the person that he play, that he plays uh, that we that we are using now as our deputy governor designate, is more reliable, is more acceptable, and is from the majority. Let me tell you, this is the first time in Nigeria like, people will be given this kind of opportunity in the history of our political engagement. And the implication is that the vote that will come from Nigeria will even be more than that of our war, where Akete comes from. And the advantage the APC has today how, is this. How, how, excuse me, excuse me, Honorable. How do you intend to achieve that? If you listen to what uh, Enikome said a few minutes ago, and he also told you to your face, what, where is the presence of governance in Elijah that you will have such a huge votes that you talk about? Thank you. Thank you, my brother. You see, Enikwe Mayor has not been coming home. He was, he? He, was, he was taken aback. He was flagabasted. He was beaten hollow. He never knew that the road from Agoto and Atijere has got into an appreciable level. He never knew. He was in, in a mimical government that abandoned that road. They awarded the road and they abandoned it. The money went down the drain. It was when Akedi came and now they awarded that contract to another contractor. But today you can see the level of appreciation of the road. By a bad road for that matter, where there was no road before. That was what he showed to you. Today you can drive on that road from Mago to Tuatijere. It okay. is very fundamental. Okay, let me quickly ask you two questions before I let you go, uh, because we have to be fair with timing. Um, one of the things he did say is that the emergence of uh, uh, the incumbent was faulty, and he did mention this issue being in court. Are you aware? Well, all I know is that you cannot resolve all crises at the same time. It's a gradual thing. We have been able to reduce our crisis to almost 99.5%. The half percent will be taken care of. That I know. I hope the half percent is not as deadly as unlike, anything. Unlike, unlike the PDP, where all the Australians have voted away. All the Australians that contested against Gegede have gone to ZLT. Okay. The majority of the people you have seen in ZLT are from PDP, okay, let not me from APC. Let me quickly ask the last question because of time. Now, there was a bad uh, precedent, and I must say, in our political lingo, and that started from Undo State, where we hear of uh, uh, Dibu Kosebe. And by translation, it means that votes and get money to prepare soup. And, uh, PDP. Excuse me. Excuse me. Are you aware that of that matter. lingo? And your party is also alleged to be involved. Let me tell you. The PDP initiated the Bukotebe. Miko. It is not from APC. For and APC instance, never did it? Huh? APC was never involved. Is that what you're saying? APC, APC has never been involved. They were the ones that introduced the Bukotebe. That is the Mimiko's mantra. Mimiko believes that there's no that cannot be bought over. And the Enikwe is a follower of Mimiko that destroyed on those, on those days for 80 years. Okay. Um, um, I wish there is time for... I, I hope, I hope that there will be time for both of you to also clear some here on some of these issues because I do not belong to any of your camps. But it is expected that you tell us the truth, you tell the people the truth, and tell them what you con what you intend to continue doing. I, Thank I you so want much. To, I want to come and face any crew on that station. Okay, you are welcome. any day, anytime. I'm, you're I'm welcome. available. You're welcome. I, we will yeah. discuss this and have both of you. And I'm yeah. sure that it's going to be an, a healthy conversation. Thank, Thank you, you once again, Honorable yeah. Otito. Atikashi, who is yeah. um, a, a former player. member of the State House of Assembly. Thank you for your time. Thank you.
And thank you for staying tuned. We'll take a short break. When we come back, I will be giving you my take on this issue. Please don't go anywhere. Now that all attention is now shifted to Ondo State, the story here, just like a do in the build-up to the election, has not been palatable. The attack, the impeachment saga in the House of Assembly, the alleged harassment of lawmakers by thugs, the planned impeachment of the state deputy governor after defecting. What we are not sure of is which traditional institution will calm the frilled nerves, or perhaps the U.S. mission will release a visa ban threat to caution the political class to shit the sword to the INEC. I challenge you to up the ante of neutrality and transparency to the people of Ondo State. Refuse to sell your conscience for peace note or the episode of four years ago, Dibo Kosebe, that is, vote and make soup. Shameful, that was. It is hope that this time you will put on your thinking cap and vote rightly and wisely. This is how far we can go on today's edition of Plus Politics. Plus Politics returns tomorrow, same time, on the same station. I remain yours truly, Coyote Ladende, saying bye for now. <laughs>